Happy Hogmanay and welcome to the Cryptonomatron. Today I'm doing an ICO review on the highly anticipated project Nucleus Vision. Now Nucleus Vision intend to um, build an IoT based contactless identification system that empowers retailers to identify and better serve their customers. So um, in a nutshell, they're in phase one at the moment. They are um, dealing with the retail side of operations so they can perform in-store customer identification and personalization. And they have already um, received live data from 10 retail stores, numerous successful authorizations, numerous recommendations and offers sent, um, numerous offers availed and many, many tens of thousands of unique identifications performed as part of their um, testing. They will move forward into uh, security later and then further into a nucleus vision powered world. So this particular technology that they're developing on the blockchain is not limited only to a retail environment. Um, and basically, to sum it up very uh, simply here, they say they connect the unconnected, they check your or check an individual's identity, um, add engagement data to that, and that is the vision, that is the nucleus vision. So very interesting. How does it actually work? Well, you have a retailer, for example, that installs an ion sensor. The ion sensor then identifies the customers. Then the orbit, which is the blockchain, sends the data over the secure orbit layer. Then the neuron, which creates real-time personas, goes to the customer and he gets a recommendation. So there's not really any direct competition as far as the technology is concerned because it is a unique tech that's patented by uh, Nucleus Vision. <clears throat> but there are other um, blockchains and other uh, blockchain companies out there that are trying to do similar things with Internet of Things. One of them is IOTA, which is a scalable decentralized um, network on the uh, Tangle system. And another one is uh, HDAC. And um, HDAC is Hyundai's uh, digital currency. They have um, had a crowd sale recently and they're trying to basically um, in ensure effective communication between IoT devices using the blockchain. So what are the problems Nucleus Vision want to solve? Well, first of all, they believe that the shopping experience in brick and mortar stores is not customer focused enough. Um, it's just stuff on shelves, customers walk around, um, and it could be more customer focused for the experience and also for the stores to um, better understand the customer. Number two, um, a lack of insight into customers' behavior. They don't really know what customers do when they're in the stores. Number three, a problem is online shopping and brick and mortar retail are not really connected. They don't share data between each other. So, um, if, if, a, if a customer's on the online uh, version of their, their store and they purchase something, that data is not transmitted down to the brick and mortar store so they can take advantage of that when the um, customer actually sets foot in the retail environment. Number four, large companies control customers' data and monetization, so the customers don't get anything for the data that they provide. Um, this is gonna change as um, with the blockchain, customers will be rewarded for sharing their data. And, you know, large companies make tens of billions of dollars from sharing this data between themselves. And finally, um, they believe the IoT industry, Internet of Things industry, is severely lacking a comprehensive and intelligent solution that is also cognizant of privacy. So, um, you know, in, in a centralized system, uh, privacy is not secure, the data can be hacked, it can be shared, as we've seen many times before, and also there's no real solution to the, um, the way companies uh, share data and reward the customers for that. So they intend to do that.
So I think the easiest way to explain their aims is to look at their FAQ. And first off, what do they actually do? Well, Nucleus Vision is an end-to-end -end technology solution that captures and provides previously inaccessible data to retailers and other brick-and-mortar businesses through its proprietary blockchain and real-time sensor technology. It works <clears throat> by um, proprietary sensor technology that can uniquely identify users. It detects temperature, pressure, motion, acceleration, and sound within the vicinity. The sensor can identify any customer in a physical store without the need for Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or GPS protocols. It's completely seamless and frictionless. Now, the IoT sensor technology is able to, to detect mobile phones as they pass through storefronts or any other location where a sensor is set up, enabling the users to detect visitor phones and mobile ID data privately over the blockchain. So the sensor then feeds user authorized data to an intelligence platform and in its current avatar, this intelligence engine provides users with useful and relevant product recommendations at brick and mortar retail locations. So the sectors or verticals that Nucleus Vision will focus on uh, will be in the retail sector, but they have ambition to move into different markets. They, uh, in the second phase of growth, they'll move towards um, security with um, a, a smart IoT sensors in residential, commercial, industrial systems. Um, in the third phase, they've got their sights on connecting the world through an ecosystem of interconnected IoT devices, Internet of Things devices. Nucleus Vision's technology team has already begun putting together the frameworks for Nucleus Vision Home, Cars, Health, Agri, City and Air. Uh, they believe that the Nucleus Vision platform has massive apps for smart communities, smart cities, agriculture, transportation, etc. So do they have a product already? Yes, they do. They've been spending the last three years building out the fundamental technology um, and they've already gone live with us in 10 retail locations in India. So they've been funded already with some venture capital funds. And the different components are the um, uh, Nucleus Vision platform and there is the ION sensor, the Orbit blockchain, and the Neuron Intelligence, and the NCash, which is the cryptocurrency token. So as we mentioned before, um, they are already live in 10 uh, retail establishments in India. The market for this technology could be absolutely massive. There's already some venture capitalists and investors like Tim Draper on board, which indicates that they also believe the market for this is big as well. Now, um, as far as the uh, Internet of Things market, the spend will grow from $591 billion in 2014 to $1.3 trillion in 2019, with a compound annual growth rate of 17%. I don't see that slowing down anytime soon. And if Nucleus Vision can fulfill their uh, promise, then I can see them getting a piece of this pie, especially with the technology and the patents that they're putting forward. They're approaching things slightly differently. And also they want to go into all the different sectors, which means they're not just pigeonholing themselves in the retail, they're going into security, and then they're going forward to, um, to many other um, different areas. So the market for this is big. Um, multi multi billion throughout the world and it's it's growing rapidly as well year on year so in order for the blockchain to uh, work they need to have the sensor in place at the um, physical location so they have uh, the the ion sensor placed in a retail environment and um, it's on the ION network and it can uniquely identify and sense temperature, pressure, motion, acceleration and sound. And this allows the retailers to capture new data um, on brick and mortar customers, where they're going around the store, uh, where they stop, what they're doing, etc. And then the blockchain um, is the foundation over which the customer identities, the data and the NCash cryptocurrency tokens flow. So the blockchain platform is going to be called the Orbit. And the blockchain is also the foundation of the universal loyalty program. 
and it makes the flow of the information um, and rewards absolutely transparent for all the stakeholders, no matter where they are ac across the globe. Now, there are other components. They are the new run intelligence platform, which is the state of the art analytics engine, and that will uh, leverage the strength of deep learning, blockchain and IoT. And this means that it will enable retailers to take advantage of the time and opportunity when customers are most receptive. Uh, new run connects the customers and the retailers at precisely the right moment. Uh, to bring an element of delight and surprise, which uh, sounds interesting. So reading the white paper, there's a lot about their technology. Um, in fact, let me stop there. Reading the light paper, the white paper has not yet been issued. So this is the light paper. Sorry, my mistake. Um, the light paper contains enough information that you'll need, though, to make a decision whether you want to invest in this ICO realistically. Um, so they've been re researching and investing three years in, in uh, um, R&D to build a patent-pending sensor tech that overcomes all the drawbacks of existing uh, retail technologies like Bluetooth or Wi-Fi beacons um, that identify people walking in and out of the store. The ion sensor, which is the important part of the retail um, a, a, a brick and mortar store which will work as a customer enters the store it, it doesn't require an app there is no barriers to adoption again the uh, wi-fi bluetooth or gps on the customer's mobile does not need to be enabled it works with all smartphones and feature phones and it provides anonymous intelligence as well so it's a scalable technology has a 12 layer stack that um effectively integrates with the technologies and systems um, such as Intel, Radisys, ODMs, and geospecific telecom carriers. And they say because Nucleus Vision produces data that was previously uncaptured, the technology is able to offer highly uh, valuable insights to retailers, especially after running data through the ne neuron layers. So they have some patent pending technology um, and it's detailed as follows. The ion sensor, which is the actual sensor itself, a single sign on is also uh, patent pending and that's a network agnostic single sign on authentication process for the customer and dynamic in-store pricing and online to offline attribution, which is a prob probabilistic device matching mechanism to identify a customer's journey across digital and physical channels. Um, all very high tech as we've mentioned before uh, it's already uh, on the market they're already uh, providing this technology in 10 retail environments in india so the technology overview as we've discussed very briefly there are um four primary components ion orbit neuron and ncash now ion sensor is the sensor technology which is um a place in the retail environment and that will uniquely identify sense of temperature pressure motion acceleration and sound within the vicinity so that then enables the retailers to capture the new data uh, on brick and mortar customers the orbit is the blockchain which is the authorization and data sharing and the neuron layer is a state-of-the-art analytics engine that leverages the strength of um, deep learning blockchain and iot and that enables the retailers to take advantage and, and seize the opportunity. And then there's the NCash, which is the token. So to explain how it works, uh, we'll do the process flow step by step very briefly. So step one, the customer walks into the store. Then the customer's phone ID is recognized by the ION sensor. The ION sensor sends the customer's phone ID to Nucleus Vision. Nucleus Vision then sends a text message um, to the customer offering NCash, the cryptocurrency token. The customer opts in, NCash is then credited to his or her account. Nucleus Vision securely transfers this customer identification to the retailer over the blockchain. The retailer maps the customer with its core system and identifies new data that can be offered by Nucleus Vision blockchain network. If the retailer has no previous shopping history on the customer, the retailer system automatically requests the data from Nucleus Vision's extended partner ecosystem, which is sent to other retailers and participants on the network. An incentive denominated in NCash is provided for the network participants that share the information. 
Number nine, the network partners set predefined rules to share customer data amongst friendly non-competing entities and share the requested customer data points if approved. Then, if the network partners accept the request, they further write the authorization to the customer for sharing data through blockchain before actually sharing the data. So network partners also attach some end cash as an incentive for the user to share the data. The customer receives the request for sharing the data across the retail partner network. Then the customer authorizes the request and receives the end cash as the incentive for authorizing and will receive a portion of the end cash transferred each time their data is exchanged in the Nucleus Vision retail network. If the customer authorizes the data sharing, the blockchain enriches the respective parameter values to retailers, smart Nucleus Vision intelligence system. And based on the customer data, a unique score is then generated by Nucleus Vision Neuron technology. The score represents the customer's value to the retailer based on his or her purchase history, spending habits and other factors. Now the retailer may then decide to offer in cash tokens to the customer based on his or her score. Retailers will be able to make decisions in real time within three different contexts. A, upon entering the store to incentivize more visits. B, browsing around the store to incentivize in-store conversions. And C, at the time of checkout to increase retention and loyalty as well. So number 16, um, the NCash tokens also act as a universal loyalty program where customers can uh, use NCash as a loyalty reward point against any retail partners on the Nucleus Vision network. Customers can cash out their NCash tokens on cryptocurrency exchanges for cash or choose to utilize them as loyalty reward points anywhere on the Nucleus Vision ecosystem. And then customers can optionally opt out of an enhanced and personalized shopping experience as well as the right to earn NCash tokens and their data will not be shared with any of the Nucleus Vision retail partners. Phew, that's quite a lot of steps, but that details the, the process very well, I think. So this great FAQ page details the use for the token. So what is the token, the NCash token? It's the decentralized crypto of the Nucleus Vision blockchain, which is used for various transactions across the ecosystem. It cannot be mined. It's an ERC-20 Ethereum token, however. It um, is capped at 10 billion. But what we are interested in is the use or the utility of it. It serves two primary purposes. One, it is the backbone of the Nucleus Vision Universal, Universal Loyalty Program or Retailer Reward System, if you like. And second of all, it is a currency used to enable the transfer of data from one party to another. So retailers in the Nucleus Vision Network can reward their users with offers using NCash, which can be redeemed across any retailer in the Nucleus Vision Network. So how do you earn NCash tokens? Well, you can earn them in four ways. One, by entering a Nucleus Vision powered retail store. Two, by receiving discounts and coupons in the form of NCash tokens from a retailer looking to boost in-store shopping conversion. Three, by making a purchase at a Nuclear Vision powered store in the form of loyalty reward points. And four, by authorizing and exchanging customer data on the Nucleus Vision platform, NCash tokens are exchanged to enable that data transfer and a portion of the fee goes directly into the consumer's wallet as your remuneration for authorizing that exchange. Now, how does the NCash work with the loyalty programs? Well, um, they have created an in op in interoperable uh, loyalty program that enables customers to earn and redeem NCash tokens with multiple Nucleus Vision partners ac across the globe. So now customers can cash out their loyalty point at crypto exchanges, but in the future, you'll be able to go to different uh, retail partners and spend them. So Nucleus Vision already had a pre-sale it was a private pre-sale and it was only available to uh, strategic investors. The minimum investment amount was 500 Ethereum or Ether um, and it's already happened. So when is the crowd sale? It will be coming soon, quarter one, 2018. You have to be on the whitelist to take part. The whitelist is now closed. It was closed on the 27th of December, I believe, and all registered participants received an email from um, one of two email addresses. There's a bit of confusion now as to who's actually getting the whitelist KYC uh, documents. KYC will happen in mid-January, so you will be receiving the email soon if you're already signed up. You will have already received an email from whitelist at nucleus.vision 
if you are on the whitelist, guys. So if you don't have that email, I suggest you go on Telegram, contact the, um, the admin there and find out whether you are on the whitelist. If you didn't register already, there's no way to get in on this ICO. I'm sorry about that. It's already closed out. You might find somebody that's willing to sell you a whitelisted email address though, but that, I think that would be very unlikely at this stage. So they are only accepting Ether for um, investment in the ICO. The hard cap will be 40 million US dollars and there will be 10 billion in cash tokens total supply of which um, 4 billion will be sold 40% during the general crowd sale. So out of 10 billion tokens, um, there will be 4 billion or 40% for the public ICO and that's hard capped at 40 million dollars. So each token will be one cent and at the current rate of about um, 750 US dollars for one Ethereum, that works out about one cent per token. You will receive about 75,000 tokens um, if you contribute one Ether. So that's pretty good. That's got a large potential for growth. Um, there will be a 25% company reserve or 2.5 billion. Um, there will be 25% going to the founding team and employees. Again, another 2.5 billion. And advisors will receive 5%, 500 million. And bounty and subcontractors, uh, 5%. Again, another 500 million. <laughs> So there was a million dollar bounty campaign for this uh, particular ICO, but um, due to the overwhelming demand for it, they've obviously um, stopped it now. They did have 1% of the NCash tokens for the, from the total supply were reserved for bounty campaigns, uh, but they reduced the uh, hard cap as, uh, as I might have mentioned before. So they had basically a, a $1 million is what they were putting, uh, putting forward initially with 20% um, going to a Reddit campaign, 10% to Twitter campaign, 5% to Telegram campaign, 5% to Facebook, 15% to creative campaign, 10% for a bug hunt and 20% for articles reviews with the final 15% being split between a translation campaign and a signature campaign on the popular forums like Bitcoin Talk. However, don't be dismayed, there is actually a meme-tastic bounty campaign continuing. So if you want to win some of these tokens, all you have to do is to create a meme or a GIF about Nucleus Vision and share them on Telegram or Reddit channel and tweet them out, let the world know, and they will um, enter the contest and they will uh, enter the, they will end the contest, sorry, when they hit 20,000 users on Telegram, I believe they already have, and then they'll select the top 10 entries from the entire list of submissions. So you still have a chance to win or earn 100,000 in cash tokens worth $1,000. Um, so I'll leave the link below if you want to enter. <laughs> So going back to 2013, they incepted this concept at Harvard Business School. The company was originally called Bellboy. Um, they researched it under Harvard Professor. There was 408 interviews with brands, investors and startups so they could get a feel of what they wanted to do. And in 2014, they raised uh, some funds from the investor and venture capitalist Tim Draper. Going forward 2015, they did a proof of concept, hosted a technology demo in San Fran, and they raised seed capital from some institutional investors. Moving on to 2016, they were busy developing the, pro uh, the product. They uh, had four global technology partnerships, 12 layer deep stack development, as we mentioned before, and 50 million unique customer insights from uh, telecom industry. Um, now in 2017, they've already officially launched um, the product with uh, 10 retail stores taking part. Telecom partnerships um, amount to two different um, companies. The couponing system is, is already functioning on the Neuron and they've already identified 30,000 users. So moving forward, quarter four 2017, they're looking for more expansion with another um, additional uh, five ION sensors deployed with uh, an additional telecom partnership. Dynamic couponing will be uh, introduced to the Neuron system with another 10,000 users coming on board. And looking forward to 2018, quarter one will see a large increase in the amount of sensors deployed, um, additional telecom partnerships, growth in users, and um, 
and, and another addition to the new run network, the coalition loyalty program. And, it, and so it goes on through 2018. As you can see, exponential growth they expect by quarter four. Uh, with uh, 5,000 ion sensors being deployed, 14 telecom partnerships, um, and 4 million users, no less, over the piece. Again, the growth will continue through 2019, but they will move into North America by then, and um, they'll start to implement the second phase with the physical security and um, preventative controls. 2020, they will implement deterrent controls, recovery controls, corrective controls and uh, move on from there uh, into 2021 with uh, even more users and they are hoping to get to almost half a billion users by then which is uh, fantastic and again continuing into 2022. So let's meet the team and partners. Uh, Abhishek PT is the founder and CEO. Avinash PT is the CTO, Chief Technical um, Officer. And Martin Dudley is the Retail Partnerships um, Guru. And the three of them form the top of the core team with Brooks Atwood as the Creative Director, Brian Lemster as the Lead uh, Blockchain Dev, and um, Nishta as the Director of Telecom Partnerships. As we can see, they all have very good experience in their respective fields. Abhishek is part of the Harvard Business School that formed this company. And um, Avinash went to MIT as well. So uh, very, very um, a, 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 a strong team. I would say one of the strongest teams that I've, I've looked at on an ICO. They have a person in each section or sector that they're involved with that is really experienced and can push them them forward so this there's no question that this team can implement the um the vision that they have in the roadmap you know you've got people like program manager there Pranith that works for Cisco they're spread out across a lot of different um, areas with different experiences at the top level and in uh, lead positions. As far as an investors are concerned, they have many, most notable being Tim Draper, who is a, a founder and a early investor of Bitcoin Skype, and he's uh, mentioned frequently in these uh, startups. And they have a good advisory team as well. We can see there, um, again, Harvard Business School, HSBC, um, they are Reliance Capital, who are uh, an investor themselves. So, yeah, the, the team is very, very strong. And this guy here used to work for IBM. I recognize his face from somewhere. I just can't place it. I really, I really can't. It's strange. Um, and, yeah, so it, the, the, the team is exceptionally strong. Um, they also have loads of guys uh, in India, obviously, working on the technology itself. As you can see, it goes down there. And you can check them all out on LinkedIn. There's loads of them. Uh, so it's fantastic to see such a qualified and experienced team that's going to take this forward. So as far as the partners are concerned, at the moment they have three telecom partners, as we mentioned during the roadmap. They are Vodafone, who everybody should have heard of, Reliance Communications, again, everybody, and Indi uh, Idea, I believe they're an Indian telecoms company, uh, I would guess, I don't know much about them. Uh, and they also have four big technology partners, the biggest one, of course, being Intel, everybody's heard of them, Radisys, Alpha Networks, and WaveNet Business Comms. So they've got a solid partnership here as well going forward. <laughs> So they are on all the usual social media channels and they have very, very good support in the community. They're on Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, GitHub, um, Reddit, everywhere you can imagine. And they have almost 8,000 followers on Twitter. As I always say, and I'll repeat myself, I know I'll get boring at some uh, stage, but I, I always look to Twitter and Telegram as the main um, a, backbone of the community the more followers they've got on those two platforms uh, i believe the better that they are uh, um, the better the hype is and the better the community support is behind this project however i like to see good support on github as well as that's where a lot of the technology um, uh, gets discussed and also where the um, uh, technology is shared in, in in terms of open source software and stuff like that so i like to see that as well I always have a little look there and um uh, you know, this is one of the, the best supported 
ICOs in recent times, over 20,000, tw almost 21,000 members on their Telegram group. That's just incredible. That really is incredible. So there's, there's no shortage of people interested in this one. Um, they've even got 622 followers on Medium, which for Medium, a blog site is pretty, pretty darn good. Um, and over a thousand readers on their uh, Reddit page as well. So very, very good support in the community. And uh, that's only going to increase as, as, they, uh, as they complete the ICO and uh, go on to exchanges. <laughs>so verdict time guys <clears throat> let's discuss the positives first well first of all um they have a very low hard cap for a project of this magnitude and what i mean is you know 40 million dollars uh, raised um during the crowd sale is not a lot of money for for a, a, a an ico of this nature you know for, for the vision and for the um what they want to do 40 million dollars is, is is quite low and um, they could easily have raised double or triple or even quadruple that amount of money with the with the amount of height that's behind this project quite easily but they've set themselves 40 million dollars as a target and i respect them for that that's what they say they need to go ahead and continue with their project so you've got to you've, you've got to respect that and um, that's a positive for, from an investor's point of view as well because that means demand will soar when these tokens hit the exchange make no mistake about that and number two positive here is the ultra low token cost of around one cent and um, that is going to be uh, I, I could see this going 10 20 30 times as it goes on the exchanges um, i really can possible 100x on this one you never know but uh yeah if i had to put money on it this th this would be the project that i would say could do this the other thing i like about this uh, is that the technology is unique and patented as well which means another company unless they have a similar technology that's not the same they can't come along and just copy this uh, this ico project it's unique the technology they have is, is is under patents in the us and india so you know, they've ring fenced this for themselves. Nobody else can come in and take a bit of this pie. Number four, they have a multi billion dollar market. If they can crack it with the retailers, um, the, 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 the potential for this is, is, is in the billions and billions of dollars. It really is. They already have a working product too. They've already proved they have it working at 10 retail locations at the moment. And they have a vision to go forward with it as well. They want more retail locations, but they're not going to stop there. Number six, they have incredible community support. Everybody is buzzing about this ICO. Um, you know, there's discussions continuing on uh, Twitter, on Facebook, on um, LinkedIn, on any social media channel you can name. They are overwhelmingly supported, and that is a very good sign. Number seven, uh, they had a very successful pre-sale. It was sold out. It was overwhelmingly popular. They made a lot of money. Can only be a good thing going forward. Number eight positive, whitelist was oversubscribed with 48,000 participants. And this means that uh, the hype around this is going to be huge and uh, demand for this token is going to be massive to those that missed out on the whitelisting for the ICO. Number nine, the team is all star. The people on the team, the advisory board, um, not you, Ian, come on, back in your box. Now, I'm only joking, mate. I do watch your videos. I think you're a great guy. Um, and, and, and you're very good at what you do. Uh, the, the team is all-star. Um, as I say, the advisory body all-star as well. Um, the partners, the um, investors, everybody on this is, is really uh, going to make this project very successful. And, and there's no doubt at all in my mind that they will make this a success. Number 10, investors are all rock solid. Um, again, you know, you look at the investors that have gone into this, um, including Tim Draper, they wouldn't be in this um, balls deep unless they knew they were going to get something back out of it. You know, those, those kind of heavy hitting investors, they back projects that they know there are winners. Uh, the partners are huge on this project too. I mean, you know, Vodafone, uh, Intel, do I need to say more really? If, if you can't work it out that these partners are back in this project for their own benefit, then, you know, you need, you need to go and get your head read. Number 12, um, and this was important, that years in the making signals dedication and effort from the founder and the team behind this. They're going to succeed, make no mistake about it. 
Um, they've already been doing this since 2013. This isn't just something that they've uh, thought up last month for a, a money grab or a white paper ICO like so many other projects that I look at. This is a real, um, a real company, a real, it's somebody's passion. It's somebody's passion and somebody's going to make this a success. The other thing that I like was the detailed roadmap and vision going forward. They're not just stopping at retail establishments. They're thinking about everything. They're thinking about taking on anything that, that they can and everything that they can. And 14, compounding everything is massively hyped behind this. You've got YouTubers um, like Ian Bellina that are advising it and backing it. Um, it's hyped all over social media, of course. It's gonna, you know, it's on everybody's lips. This is an A1 ICO. So the negatives, and I had to nitpick to get these negatives, guys. I really did. I had to nitpick through this. Um, num my number one negative here is I'm not entirely sure that it is disruptive to the industry. Um, it's certainly conducive. It makes the industry function better. Um, you know, blockchain technology makes the the um, the retail and customer experience a lot better and, and, and you know, more enjoyable and uh, lucrative for both the retailer and customer. But is it disruptive is it, as a model? Does it really disrupt the, the retail industry? I don't think it does. Number two, uh, there will be a mad rush to participate and this means some people are going to miss out and that's going to make people mad because everybody wants in on this and there's already people that um, are, are that didn't get in on the whitelist in time and people asking whether they are on the whitelist and you know um, it, 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 people selling their whitelisted emails there will be a rush for this and that's a negative because people will miss out and we want everybody to get a bit of this you know just like Wabby everybody that was on the whitelist got a bit you know, um, are they going to are they are they going to allocate an equal amount to everybody? I don't think they are. I think it's just going to be a um, wait by the computer and try and pump as much Ethereum into this as you as you're allowed to do kind of affair. But we'll wait and see. My number three negative again, I'm nitpicking, but whitelisting and KYC process was not exactly clear, and it's caused confusion. Nearly everybody on uh, t the Telegram group, for example, is asking, "Did I get the correct email? Did I get the? Uh, uh, am I on the whitelist? Uh, have I have I missed out on K KYC?" Well, I'll explain this very clearly. If you got one of two emails, you are being whitelisted. You are in the process and KYC will begin this month. It has not started yet. So take it easy, guys, all right? So that clears up the confusion. And number four, it's a negative. Um, there's no detailed white paper as yet. There is a one pager and there is a light paper, but there's no detailed white paper. So moving on to the all important verdict. Well, I don't think you'll find a better ICO this year, guys. I really don't. I look through this. I like the project. Um, it's backed by a lot of heavy hitters. The partners are, are there. The community's there. Um, the market's certainly there. They have the technology. Um, they have a real use case for the tokens. The ICO details, the token metrics, they all make sense to me. Nothing really stands out that, that um, you know, uh, makes me think, is this a risk? So I've got to give this five stars. Um, you know, this one's a, a this one's a wham bam, just like Wabby was. This is a, you know, this is a this is a definite investment for me, and I'm putting in as much as I am allowed and able to do at the time. So um, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, as ever, I'm not a, an investor. I'm not, you know, I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a financial advisor. I should say I'm, I am an investor, but not a financial advisor. So um, this is not financial advice. Please do your own research, do your own due diligence. And if you are going to invest, please always invest wisely and cautiously and, you know, never invest more than you can afford to lose. So if you like this video, please like, please subscribe. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Hangover permitting, of course. It might just be a short one. Happy Hogmanay to everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. It's a new year. It's a new year. And 2018 will be the year of the ICO. I've been saying this. We're just starting here in this tech space. We really are. We're just starting. So if you're up on it, if you're following me, you know I only pick the winners, guys. You know the ones to invest in. I'll tell you. Don't have to do the work. I'll do it for you. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your support in 2017. Now onward, onward to 2018.